Because it's Canadian Thanksgiving, let's open with how gratitude can really be the antidote for a lot of anxiety and worry. Gratitude is the antithesis to anxiety for me. Grateful for coffee and very grateful to be here. Hey guys, it's Katie Kate on the homestead. A nice, cool morning out here in the country. Thanksgiving long weekend here in Canada. And I'm just out with Potato, taking a walk around the property. Yesterday I took the day off. I needed it, I enjoyed it. When I am knee deep in the wood pile for a week, my indoor chores get neglected. Specifically my floors. I have seven cats and two dogs. So yesterday, that's what I needed to do. I just needed to sweep my floors and do some cleaning. I cooked a beautiful Thanksgiving dinner, turkey with all the fixins. I made it on Sunday so that we could have leftovers this holiday Monday. This morning, I'm gonna make an apple pie to go along with our leftovers today. I was in bed early, I was up early. I'm feeling really refreshed for whatever today brings. Another thing I found time to do yesterday was check my traps in the chicken coop because I haven't checked them for a week or so. I did catch another mouse and I placed some of the cornmeal baking soda into the trap areas. I managed to pick up some cornmeal when I was shopping the other day. I finally got around to making that recipe. This morning there was a mole and a chipmunk hunted for me when I woke up. So they're doing their job. I had speculated that there was a chipmunk in the coop. Maybe he's been one of the problems. Anyway, he's dead now. I do feel like I'll get out and tackle the rest of that firewood today. It feels like a good day to work. I am refreshed. It's a little chilly. It's overcast. And I do think I'll bust it out in not very long. Inside, I have the fire burning down before I stoke it back up again. Look at those pretty colors. have a few chores to do indoors before I can head out. I need a second cup of coffee as well. Today so far, it's going to be apple pie and firewood. I just quickly want to say that Thanksgiving is my absolute favorite holiday. Everybody who knows me knows that. It's not overly commercialized. There are no presents involved. It's just all of my favorite things, food, family, gratitude, and rest. For me personally, when I get anxious or worried, gratitude is hands down my best strategy for getting out of that funk. Over and above being grateful for my beautiful children, I usually start with the really simple things. Having a comfortable bed and clean bed sheets, a soft pillow, a safe place to sleep, a full belly, shelter, my animals, all the really simple things. Then I can zoom out to the bigger picture, encompassing my beautiful life here in the country, this gorgeous house I have, all the opportunities in my life that I have missed that I was disappointed about. The time I got fired instead of getting the promotion that I wanted. But looking back, it was a terrible company and I hate to think where I would be if I had stayed there. I certainly wouldn't be where I am now. 
Gratitude is the antithesis to anxiety for me. I'm motivated and fueled up. I'm gonna start with some small logs and then maybe I'll have some help for the last of the big ones. But first I have to let the chickens out and make sure my dog is not trying to get at that apple pie. Grateful to have an empty trap. No disturbance to my cornstarch and baking soda in this area. I'm already putting a dent in this end. What a beautiful backdrop for working out here today. Where I'm starting, I'll be finishing this today. Let's see if I can finish my seventh row. I can't count the jelly beans and figure out how much wood I have stacked until the end of the day. So stick around till the end and we'll see how much firewood I have stashed away so far. That is done. No help, I did it myself, but I do not nag. I will let people know what I need them to do and I let them take their own initiative. I'm stubborn and I'd rather complete the job myself than beg for help. He will certainly hear about it. All those cold winter days when we're cozied up by the fire. I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna stack this all away. Another job well done. I tried to lift this several times and its combination of weight and shape, really, I can't do it by myself. So grateful to have that job done. <laughs> and tomorrow morning when I wake up, I won't be thinking about all the firewood I have to split. So how many jelly beans do I have in this jar? A load of wood is not an exact measurement, so let's estimate. One quart of wood is eight feet long and four feet high, so let's work with that. I would estimate that each of these rows is about two and a half cords of wood. I'm almost completed my seventh row. That would be 17 and a half cords stashed away. My goal is to burn between 10 and 15 this winter, hoping to err on the low side. And here's what's left to be blocked and split. How many cords do I think that this is? Has to be at least five. That would put me at 22 and a half cords. I'm slowly getting a little bit ahead every year so I have a stockpile of wood for my heating. Some of the wood was full of ants and I'm sure that that is what they're going after. Nice free little bonus snack. They can clean up. Well, that's Canadian Thanksgiving long weekend on the homestead. End of the day, time for me to water the animals, get everybody situated before the sun goes down. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are filled with gratitude for all the things that you have all the big things as well as all the small things. I hope you're doing well, staying safe, and enjoying the fall. It's beautiful. <laughs> Until next time, happy healthy living. I'm Katie Kate on the homestead and I'll see you later. <laughs>